Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Five Minute Eats. Hey everybody, welcome back to oh. Five Minute Eats. Oh. No, Five Minute Eats. I forgot which channel this is. <laughs> we have several channels if you'd like to check those out. Links are down below. Today though, we're we, on Five Minute Eats. Yeah, we've been filming <laughs> and I forgot we were like doing this one now. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we brought you our tour of India and it was Indian season on Five Minute Eats. It was such a long tour that we forgot to add the dessert. The dessert, yeah. So today we are revisiting our tour of India for our last stop and that is dessert. And this is my favorite Indian dessert. Yep, and mine, um, not really, you know, like, mine is like this one when it comes to it. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I don't hate it. I just, you know, I'm indifferent to it, right? Ooh. But she loves it. So I saw this at the grocery store the other day. So I was like, all right, let me get this, especially because it's made by a company uh, that goes by the name of Janakis. Yeah. And it is made in Elk Grove, Illinois, which is very nearby. Mm -hmm. It's a few miles from us. So it's a local bakery. Yeah. It's made with sugar, dry milk powder, flour, baking powder, and shortening cor and corn oil. So, it is gulab jamun, yeah. and for as unappetizing as it sounds, it is very delicious. It's like basically like a sh a dough a doughy sugar, like basically. You know, it's it's um pretty much like almost like a a very heavy donut hole soaked in like a honey sugar. Yep. I like to have mine warm, but you can just have it regardless, like cold, whatever you want. Um, sometimes. If you go up on like Devon, they have like a whole store with just an assortment of these and they have like stuffed ones. Oh, and just so ones. for you guys who don't know what Devon is, yeah. it's kind of like India town, Indian town. Yeah. You know how there's Chinatown in the city, there's uh, Devon is what, because it's, um, Devon is like the main road mm -hmm. uh, where all these um, restaurants and, and things like that are on. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of Indian grocery stores there and restaurants. Yeah, now here's the thing. Not all gulab jamun is created equal. I've had some that are very like gritty and grainy on the inside and those are bad. So what I'm always looking for is something that's like very like smooth and creamy on the inside. For me, I like the Indian dessert that's like a rice pudding. Here. Mm. Just imagine like a piece of dough drenched in like liquid sugar. Mm -hmm. And that's what this tastes like. This is not the best I've ever had, but it's really good. The inside is pretty smooth. It's not too like grainy or anything. And it has a nice little like bounciness whenever you bite into it. Yeah, this is good. Not like too sugary. I feel like it's pretty sugary, but not as bad as some that we've had. Well, that's what I was going to say. Compared to others that we've had in the past, this isn't as sugary. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say this, though, that because someone heated this thing up like crazy <laughs> hot, it's hard to like really enjoy it because it's like, you know, a little too hot in here. You, you got a mouth, you can blow on it. I like it warm. Um, I feel like it really brings out like the flavor because whenever it's cold, the consistency of it isn't the same. You want it to be like a little like spongy and bouncy in your mouth. You want it to be warm, not mm. like blazing hot, right? Mine was warm. I don't know what happened to yours. <laughs> Maybe yours was on the, the wrong side of the microwave or something. Mine was good though. Um, I would definitely buy these again. Yeah, this is good. Like I said, not too sugary. So it's like the made perfectly mm -hmm. now interesting thing about gulab jamun mm -hmm. is there's like different types right yeah uh so there was like a, a i don't know like 10 different and i didn't know which one to get so i just i figured for go for the original mm -hmm. right yeah and this is a good one this company does a great job on it mm -hmm. um how many was there in there um let me see because we have only had two so um two four six seven no Two, four, six, seven. So a seven. That's strange. It's very strange. A seven pack. Um, there's also no nutritional information on here. I wonder if they're allowed to do that. Either way, um, they're good. <laughs> Probably you don't want to know how many calories is in one of these because 
it's probably a thousand. Yeah. It's a lot. Woo. So I would actually recommend it. Mm -hmm. Me too. If you are in the area and you come across these, pick them up. By or the way, did we show them the label? Because this is green. So if we showed you the label, you're probably not seeing it, but it's yeah. Janaki's. And if you guys, you know, are in another state or city, whatever, and you come across Golub mm -hmm. whether in a restaurant or in the grocery store, give it a shot. Let us know what you think. And also, if you haven't done so, you know what you got to do? Make sure to click that subscribe button. Give us a like. Click that notification bell and share this video with all of your friends and family who love food as much as you do. Bye.